Hey there, I'm Dr. Dave, and today I want to share with you different psilocybin experiences by dosage. In other words, if you take a certain amount, what are you going to feel like? I'm going to go all the way from microdose all the way up to the largest dose possible. So let's go ahead and dive in immediately. First of all, the first dose I'll talk about, or the smallest dose, is actually what I concentrate most of my time on. I'm speaking to you and also even doing this myself, it's a microdose. A microdose. And a microdose is considered anywhere from 0.05 grams to 0.3 grams. Now remember, you've got to be really good at converting grams into milligrams because 0.05 grams is so small, it's 50 milligrams. Just remember, move that decimal place over three times, three spaces, and you'll get you'll convert from grams to milligrams and vice versa. So with a um, microdose, if you want to keep track or keep score right here, uh, you're going to feel mood enhancement, crisp concentration, and increased mental stamina. Now, I want to stop here for a second and tell you this is not medical advice. I'm speaking to you as a friend to friend. This is not to be taken as any kind of medical advice. And also, I'm going to share with you that everybody is different. There are no strict cutoffs. So what you may take and think is a microdose in, for somebody else or for you, it might be different. So just keep that in mind. These are just, these are just guidelines to go by. Okay. The next dose up would be kind of a level two that would be called a mini dose. And a mini dose is anywhere from, let's say from 0.3 to one gram. And that's going to be a mini dose. 0.3 to one gram. And with a mini dose, you're going to possibly experience feeling um, kind of like a little bit like cannabis, feeling stoned, a mild euphoria, vi maybe some visual enhancements, maybe some short term memory anomalies, altered sound perception, possibly. Okay, the next dose up would be called a, uh, it's appropriately called museum dose, and that is from one gram to two grams, you call that a museum, museum dose, and it's appropriately named because I always think of a museum dose as you take it and it's great for walking around a museum and looking at all the exhibits and things pop out at you, or you could still do it, a walk in nature is beautiful too. And the, I will share this with you, the first three dose levels are what I've spent most of my time with. I don't have much experience at all outside of these first three dose levels. But for a museum dose, you can experience um, colors become more um, vivid, um, closed eye visuals are possible, distracted thought patterns, and enhanced creativity. I love the enhanced creativity for sure. Next level, level four, or a moderate dose, is from two, let's say two grams to about 3.5, moderate. And remember, these are just rough guidelines. Everybody's gonna be different, but with a moderate dose, you can experience warped and kaleidoscope, kaleidoscopic visuals, mild hallucinations, 3D closed eye visuals, mild synesthesia, which means your senses get kind of mixed up, like where you could be hearing colors, things like that. So that's that's what synesthesia means, a distorted sense of time. So that is a moderate dose. The next dose up, level five, is a mega dose. And a mega dose, let's say it's 3.5 to five grams. And that's mega dose. And with a mega dose, you can experience heavy hallucinations, mild disconnect from reality, complete loss of time, synesthesia, and some out-of-body experiences. That is with a mega dose. And I, I have, as of this recording, no experience with a mega dose. Maybe luckily, or maybe unluckily, <laughs> whatever you whatever you want to look at. And uh, the, the last dose is anything over five grams is considered a heroic dose a heroic dose and that heroic dose is totally completely altering of all senses you ego death you mean you don't even know you don't even know what's going on just everything is like kind of melts into everything else 
complete disconnect from reality. If that's what you want, if that's what you're looking for, that is a heroic dose. I'm going to go ahead and share this with you one more time. Um, a micro, mini, museum dose, moderate dose, mega dose, and heroic dose. I really hope this helps you. Be careful, please. Uh, with the heavier doses, you may want to incorporate the um, uh, the services of a trip sitter to make sure you're, 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 you're safe in case anything happens. And I'm here to share uh, anything else with you that you'd like. Just send me a comment, send me a question. I'm here for you. I'm Dr. Dave, and I will talk to you next time. Love you.